And now, last but least, I'm going to explain the solution for the problem E with the shear rod. And uh, in this problem, we have uh, an array of uh, n elements, and we can uh, we have to like uh, change uh, two elements and add uh, the sum of them multiplied by negative one. So it's just like reversing the sum. If it's positive, then it will be some negative number, and vice versa. And we need to print the largest possible number that can remain in array if we do the operations uh, optimally. Again, uh, for this kind of problem, uh, it's once again another observation problem, which is quite uh, interesting for this round. And uh, what... Uh, I would what I would do here is um, to maybe reduce the operation to its origin. Like if we have two numbers um, a and b, we according to the formula from the statement, we are going to get uh, minus a plus b. And if we do the operation for this number, let's say another number c, then if we add them up and make them opposite, then it's going to be negative a multiplied by minus 1, which will be a plus b minus c. And in conclusion, we can actually reduce each number to be either a negative or a positive, where negative will be those numbers which will be multiplied by negative 1, and plus will be those numbers which uh, won't be multiplied by negative 1, as in they will keep the same value. So if we have a 5, then it's going to become negative 5. If it has minus, and if it's a 7, it's a 7. Now, we want to create an uh, array of pluses and minuses, such that uh, the sum of the numbers of plus minus the sum of numbers with minuses is going to be as big as possible. Now, in order to do it, we need to ensure that uh, we don't get to something like plus minus, plus minus, plus minus. The reason why we can't do it is because uh, when we uh, apply the operation for the first time, the numbers which will be in that operation will always have the same sign no matter what happens. So we don't, uh, we can't end up with something like plus minus, plus minus, plus minus. And this is quite an important corner case because um, it was added in the samples. And initially we didn't have it in the sample and uh, many people actually failed to solve the problem because they didn't figure out um, that this isn't possible, like this pattern plus minus and so on. And uh, we decided to add it in the sample. Now, uh, after you do the entire set of operations, you will realize that for every valid pattern, if we add up the number of elements in the initial array, M, and the number of negatives, let's note it M, the sum of N and M, if we uh, take the reminder of the three, it's going to always become one. You can't actually make anything uh, which doesn't equalize to this result. The proof can be uh, found uh, by induction later on, I will, which will be found in the editorial after the contest, when it will be published on Codeforces. Now, how can we figure out which numbers have to get a plus and which numbers have to get a minus. Now, a simple solution which works is to actually sort the array, like the input array, and we keep uh, adding minuses to numbers. And uh, as long as there are two numbers with the same sign, in the construction we can actually consider the solution. And uh, there will always be two numbers with the same sign as long as the number of uh, pluses and minuses won't be close, as in something like n divided by 2. 
And in case the number of uh, pluses and minuses are close to equal, we only have to check if uh, this pattern doesn't show up. If this shows up, then you can't do anything. Otherwise, if this condition is fulfilled, then you can just uh, update the maximum answer with um, the sum you obtained so far. And that's what uh, this code actually does. It's written by my friend. So if n is 1, obviously we can't do anything. Yeah, it can be 1. And uh, then we can sort the array and again some cases based on the reminder of 3 uh, for add and also for the number of positives. And here are some simple cases which help us um, do the operation described, described before in the sketchpad. Now, I hope you enjoyed watching uh, this video and all the other videos, and uh, I, I will add them in a playlist so that you can watch them in uh, this order. And I actually recommend watching them in the order like from eight all the way to the E because uh, I wanted to make this as a story, like because it's a special contest and not just yet another round. And the reason why it's a special contest is obviously because it's a contest where I also contributed with uh, content. Until the next time, stay safe, good luck, good luck, and goodbye.